Arrow Video releases a film from 2020 entitled The Bloodhound. This is a film that was only released last year, and uh, bravo to them for getting uh, the, the, the nice Arrow home video treatment here. This is basically uh, from Patrick Picard, writer-director, an updating of The Fall of the House of Usher from Edgar Allan Poe. So uh, it's done on a very small scale. I mean, The Fall of the House of Usher is only ever a couple characters anyway, so it's not hard to, to create a scaled back version of this because you're really only dealing with two, maybe three, maybe four characters. Uh, this this young man, Francis, goes by invitation to visit his friend, uh, JP, who is a uh, reclusive living in this uh, in this house willed to him by his father. He lives there with his sister, who you never see. She's sickly. She's locked off in another room. And uh, it's a very interesting house. I actually really liked the house in this. It's um, modern architecture, 60s, 70s maybe. Very odd look to it. Um, which does a lot of the work for the movie, for me. Um, I really enjoyed the vibe of that house. It's cold, it's dark. Um, the JP character is reclusive, sort of agoraphobic. He has some sort of illness that he may or may not talk about, but he's, he's very odd, very socially awkward. So he's thrilled to have this old friend back again. And basically the film is conversations between the two, trying to catch up with old times, realizing that they they've that they've sort of changed as people and aren't really as, as compatible as friends as they used to be. Um, Francis really having a lot of uh, concern for JP, this old childhood friend, as to what's wrong with him and what he's doing, and JP trying to manipulate him in strange ways and, and always evade the question of where the sister is. She's here, but she, she doesn't want to see her right now. She's here, but she's not well enough to come out. So it basically follows the story of the fall of the, half, half, the, fall of the House of Usher, easier written than said and um, takes a similar course just it's just set in contemporary times there are you know contemporary technology contemporary times although the house is of another era so that does give it this vibe of, of sort of being out of time a little bit um, I didn't really care for the film myself I'm a huge Poe fan a huge fan of the old Vincent Price AIP movies but this one felt like like a really well-made student film to me or, or indie film. I didn't care for the performance of the lead and uh, he may be great in other things. It's just the, the, the choices he made here were very, he seemed very affected, like this very overtly cultured tone, which didn't make sense to me for the time and place. And um, it just didn't work for me. Now, the character was supposed to be socially awkward and strange, so that may have been a highly successful performance because it felt it felt very awkward and strange to me. Um, other than that, I mean, it was shot well for what it was. It, it had a very, like I said, again, I have to give it points for the vibe that it created. It was a very interesting feel, this very kind of strange, quiet, something's wrong here tone about the inside of that house. Um, there are some extras on here. There are, I think there's a Q&A with the cast. There's some behind the scenes featurettes and things like that. Uh, but overall, uh, The Bloodhound, did I even say the title of this film? Well, if I didn't, I put it up earlier. Sorry about that. Sorry about that to everybody, but it's too late now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, the Bloodhound, out now on Blu-ray from Arrow Home Video.